So just scrying the Aether of Lil. The angels are just bidding me to relax. And about me I see a white sphere. And it is um, very much filled in. So it's this combination of individuals with their shadow sides. It is um, spirits of all kinds all about the, all upon the sphere. It's concepts, ideas, it's rules. And some of these negative sort of, the opposite side of a sphere, basically, if, if you have a person on one side, you can have what can consider to be, be considered to be their shadow on the other. But there are people who are like that shadow who are kind of on that opposite side. So we can think of um, speaking kind of loosely, we can think of an astrological opposition like that. Um, of course, we're all people, so we all share the same kind of matter, the same kind of DNA. So it's difficult to get very much into that whole idea of a true opposite. But at any rate, um, there are all of these higher and higher forms of reconciliation that themselves can be considered a dimension along a higher sphere. But all of these are sort of together in one and unified within a larger idea matrix, as it were, or an idea sphere, as the case may be. And of course, the heart of the divine is right at the center, but of course, the center is everywhere. And so this is very important. And so I'm just being very much aligned with the center as I perceive it. And there's very much a patience and waiting for me to relax, dial it back a little bit. And good. So I'm just being approached by the divine, nothing to say yet. And it's like my entire energy body is sort of being swirled up and lifted and raised up in terms of vibration and in terms of possibility. And it's just kind of coming out of my crown chakra right now. It's a very much a large swirling and it really is this alignment with with a lot of potential that has been resting there and so i simply wait and just recognizing that um, there still needs to be a little bit of attention paid to making sure that the monkey mind as it were doesn't take over but regardless, recognizing it has a place. But yeah, and so I'm seeing two beams kind of coming down from above. These are the two beams of the hidden call, the, the, the first call, Enochian call. And they're just settling into my crown chakra and then just making their way all the way throughout my energy body. And they're saying that this will be further reconciled as I move along through the 18 calls after this one. And then in the 19th call, it will be able to be unlocked with that first page of Libra Loka. So I'm asking if there's anything that is wished to be said, and I'm being told no. Um, I'm relaxing as best I can into this, seeing if peace does bring about an internal piece brings about more color or anything like that. And there is, but the main thing I'm getting is, is that it's allowing me to see the colors of other people or of other beings more clearly. And so a big variety. So I'm asking if there's anything else. And they're saying not for this video, so that's in the vision.